Hello folks, uh, <clears throat> this is 2022 May June uh, paper 41 and the question number is uh, 6. It is concerned with the chapter magnetic field as well as uh, the uh, electromagnetic induction. So uh, now there has been some course uh, rearrangements <clears throat> and they are uh, combined in combined form. The first says uh, define magnetic flux. We will not go through that. Let us directly go to the uh, numerical problem or case study let us say. It says a square coil of wire of a side length uh, 12 cm so we have a square coil here the length is 12 cm so 12 cm 12 cm 12 cm 12 cm consists of eight insulated turns so the number of turns is n and this is a l l is equal to 12 cm the coil is stationary in a uniform magnetic field so we have seen these dots here cross sorry crosses here placed uniformly which shows that throughout this region the magnetic field is uniform the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is going like this. It is going like this. The plane is like this. So that's why they are perpendicular. So this, this, and this plane, they are perpendicular. Now, the flux density B of the magnetic field varies with the time t as shown in figure 6.2. So this flux density, uh, which is from a machine or maybe, maybe, maybe uh, some sort of arrangement, Maybe because of a two magnetic poles, or maybe because of a Helmholtz coil. We often use a Helmholtz coil for uh, having uniform magnetic field. So this magnetic field varies, and the variation is shown like this. Initially, it was zero, and in 0 0.6 second, it reaches a value 400 milli tesla. So in 0 0.6 second, the value reaches 400 milli tesla, and the rate of increase is same, which means it increases uniformly. It increases uniformly. Now. Determine the magnetic flux linkage inside the coil at time t equal to 0 0.6 seconds. So we have to find the magnetic flux linkage actually, field linkage or flux linkage with the coil. We don't require here, we don't require here. We just have to find the flux linkage with the coil. The flux linkage with the coil. So, 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 let's do. And that is at a time t equal to 0 0.6 seconds. So. At that time, the value of B is equal to 400 milli tesla. So the flux link is will be will be phi is equal to B A N B A N. Since it is perpendicular, perpendicular, there will be no theta factor here. <coughs> so it's equal to the value is B is 400 milli tesla. So it's equal to 10 to the power minus 3 into area. The area of this square, the area of this square should be L square, and L is uh, 12 cm square of 12 centimeter so it should be 0 0.12 squared into n is 8 it says n insulated turns so that's why it should be 8 so this is the flux linked here and we are not concerned with any outside flux here just the flux inside so it should be equal to uh, 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 into 0 0.12 squared into 8 equal to it comes to be equal to 0 0.04608 and it will be equal to 0 0.04628 sf so it is a 0 0.046 and we have used everything si so it should be weber the unit should be equal to weber now state how figure 6.2 shows that the electromotive force e induced across the terminals between t equal to 0 and uh, t equal to 6 second is constant so we have to state how it is constant it is constant because the slope is constant the slope of this is constant so what we have is the value of e is equal to minus d phi dt that's equal to minus d the value of phi has been used as uh, used as b a n so i have uh, b a n b a n sorry by dt a and n constant so it's equal to minus a n d b d t so e is equal to e is depends on the rate of change of this so now since this uh, graph is a straight line this thing is constant constant so this thing is constant so that's why that's why that's why e should be equal to constant constant so what i must say is i must say is so how we can say that it is because slope slope of the graph the graph the graph which is db by dt is equal to constants 
so this tells that the value of e should be equal to constant so i can write here e is equal to some constant into db by dt or we can use minus sign as well like this now calculate the value of e so the value of e should be equal to e is equal to minus d phi by dt that's equal to minus this phi the phi at the last stage is the phi at the last stage is this is this so it is phi minus zero it is at the initial stage uh, then it is time equal to minus phi is a 0 0.046 divided the time is time is from here to here time is a 0 0.60 so when i do divisions it gives me 0 0.046 by 0 0.6 equal to it becomes 0 0.07666 like this so equal to minus minus 0 0.077 volt so it is minus 0 0.077 volt so since it says a magnitude we can avoid this minus sign as well since it's only the magnitude we can avoid this thing as well now the procedure is repeated but this time the terminals of the coil are connected together so now we repeat the process means the increase of magnetic field but we now connect this connect this so if so then explain the effect of on the coil of connecting the terminals together during the change of magnetic like this so what is the effect what is the effect the first effect is that since emf is developed here there is a flow of current there is a flow of current like this there is a flow of current like this so the first effect is current flows the first effect is current flow it's a compulsory answer current flows then because of the current what happens is current heat starts to develop here heat starts to develop in the wires here so the second is thermal effect so heat develops heat uh, develops develops and temperature increases temperature increases so that is one effect here and the next if is that what happens is if let me say current flows like this here current flows like this here and uh, like this here like this here so what happens is now we have a parallel currents parallel currents which have current in opposite directions so they start to repel each other this part repel each other and this part repel each other so what i can say is opposite opposite parts of square opposite parts of regions of regions of a square repel each other they repel each other each other that increases so so increases increases the area increases the area so this thing increases the whole the whole area here increases the whole area here now next is so in this turn what we have is we have one turn here and we have next turn down we have next turn down so here and here here and here slightly downward so one is up like this one is going up like this next is down here in these two things we have got conductors carrying current in same direction carrying current in same direction so here here reverse direction but uh, in this coil and the coil below in this region and this region we have got uh, conductors carrying current in same direction so there is constriction here there is constriction here so that's why what happens here is also we have got uh, the reasons the the turns turns carrying current in same direction same direction attract each other attract each other so there is constriction there is constriction constriction <clears throat> constriction along the along the direction of magnetic field so what i mean is the coils will the coils will constrict so if these turns here lots of turns here like this so they will constrict like this the so constriction is along the direction of the magnetic field so like this not like this not like this like this so it's the constriction is along the direction of the magnetic field so that's the answer